and uh, like I said, each person is going to have a Bible verse to share, and then we're going to baptize them in that spot there. There you go, Vicki. Take as long as you want. Share as much as you need to. <laughs> and that verse is Ephesians um, 4, 1, two, 1 and 2. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. I urge you to... I got one. <laughs> I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. I love this verse because I think we all need to be humble. Remember that we are sinners, so we can love others and help them come to Christ. And I just want to um, pray that that when people look at me, that they see Christ in me. Okay. You can start your stuff too. You walk around back there. Okay. Go ahead and step in. I did heat it. It's not, it's not river cold, but it's not bathtub hot either. Okay, I get it. Okay. Well, hold on. Uh, we'll have you hold. Vicky, have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Step forward one step. Vicky, based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in the newness of life. You're welcome. All right. Next up, Melody Estes. Come on up here. Okay, hey, Melody, do you have a verse for us today? Okay, so my verse is Philippians 4, 13, and it is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Awesome. Melody, have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Melody, based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Him in the likeness of His death, raised to walk in the newness of life. All right, next up we have Andrew Tesseric. Andrew and Ethan, you can both kind of come up here. We'll give you your own separate time, but you'll be nearby here. The brothers are doing it today. This is awesome. Okay, Andrew, uh, tell us your verse. Uh, my verse is 2 Corinthians 5.15. He died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Amen. Good verse. Let me hold your phone. Take a step forward. You might have to bend your knees a bit. Okay, there you go. All right. Got your towel. Okay, come on out. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, for whoever believed in him should not perish and live with eternity life. Amen.
Okay, I'd like uh, Rory Hinson to join us up here. Got your verse? Um, I have two verses. My first one is John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And my second one is Romans 10.9, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All right, if uh, Owen and Wyatt Cummings would come forward, our last two. Owen, let's have you go first, buddy. Let's hear your verse. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a re- not a result of works so that no one has may ba- boast. Good verse. Good verse. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Yes. Owen, based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in the newness of life. There you go. Proverbs 1 8. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction and don't reject your mother's teaching. Wyatt, have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Yes. Wyatt, based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in the newness of life. All right. If uh, the worship team would come forward, we'll get ready for our closing song. While they're coming, can we pray for these? Can we pray for these who've just taken this step today? Father, thank you for each one who's gotten the water today. They've already trusted you, but they've publicly said they want to follow you. Truly, when we take that step, oftentimes we face opposition. I want to pray for, for each of these seven that your spirit would strengthen and encourage them to walk in your ways and to be a light and to share their lives by the way they live and what they say and what they do. They're not going to be perfect, but let them walk in the light that others could see Jesus shining in them and through them, and let them know the hope they have is in Jesus, in Jesus' resurrection power. That's what we celebrate. Thank you. Bless each one for taking that step. Maybe there's somebody here today who needs to follow. I pray they'd talk to one of the pastors here at the church and that we'd fill this tank again and celebrate soon others who want to follow that example and step of obedience. Thank you, Father. Bless and encourage them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.